And this one here, and people ask me, how do you come up with these titles? Well, it's just what I'm feeling at the moment. This title for this week's opinion piece is called Misery. Misery. Ladies and gentlemen, this week has been an interesting one for me. It seems as though my rose-colored glasses were taken off and I was seeing people in a different degrees of misery. To the uncomfortable and all the way down to downright miserable. The word misery is just plain miserable to say, let alone being truly miserable for real. Misery. What is it? What does it mean? How does one get into a miserable state in the first place? Well, if you know me, and you know I'm into definitions, so let's see what the, this miserable word means. This word misery. Misery is a noun, a state of feeling, great distress or discomfort of mind or body. Some synonyms are unhappiness, hardship, suffering, affliction, torment, pain, discomfort, grief, despair, depression. Well, that covers a lot of what I saw last week. I could spend way more time than I had to detail to you what I saw, but I won't. Let's just say that it left an impression on me. When I look and see the miserable state that so many are in, I want to crumple to my knees, lift my hands and eyes up to the Lord, and scream, Thank you, Lord, for all the blessings you bestow upon me. I'm so not worthy, yet you bless me anyways. Ladies and gentlemen, I have shelter. I have food to eat, a place to shower and groom myself, complete use of my body and its senses, a job, a beautiful family, heat when it's cold and cool air when it's hot. I have a vehicle and the ability to keep it running. If I want to go out to dinner or see a movie, I can. And this list could go on and on, but I'll stop it here. Any one of us, in a twisted moment of fate, could become one of the miserable. We could become homeless, injured, or alone without warning. So what now after all this reflection on misery? Well, for me, it presses on my heart to help when and if I can, and to cherish those things that I have, and to thank and give praise to the one who provides it for me. Ladies and gentlemen, let's all do what we can to help each other and thank the Lord for all his blessings. And with that, we're going to take a break, and when we come back, we're going to have the attorney.